الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم. So moving on, inshallah in this lesson we'll be discussing the second characteristic of a noun. What we're going to discussing? The second characteristic. Okay. Yes. Okay. So before we go on, we want to recap. Yes. So what have we studied so far? What have we studied so far? What's the first thing we studied about words? Yes. What's the word called? Kalima, very good. Kalima. How many types of Kalima are there? Three types. What are first? Ism, Fail, Harf. Correct? Ism, Fail, and Harf. And we said regarding the Ism, we said how it can have characteristics, yes? What are the first characteristics we discuss? It can be Ma'rifa and Nakira. What's Ma'rifa called? Definite. And the Nakira is called? Indefinite. So what's definite called again? Ma'rifa and indefinite is called nakira. Yes, so we've covered this much so far. Yes, everybody with me? Okay, so now we're moving on. Okay, we want to discuss something called gender. Okay, boy, girl. Do you have gender in here? Boy and girl, male and female. Yes, boy is a male, girl is a female. Correct, we have woman and a man. Woman is male or female? Female, and a man is. Male. Brother, male or female? Male. And sister? Female. Aunt? Female. And uncle is? Male. So we can see that living things, they have a gender. Yes? Living things have a gender. They are either male or female. Okay? Pen and paper. Which one is male, which one is female? They don't have a gender. They're not living. Car, truck, door, window, shoe, a sock. None of these things have a gender. Non-living things don't have a gender. That make sense? Because they're, they're not living. Only gender is only to do with living things. But in grammar, in certain languages, what happens? They give non-living things a gender as well. The, the, pe the speakers of that language, they just imagine for grammar reasons, just for grammar reasons, that this is masculine, this is feminine. This is male, this is female. You following? So, for example, even so, things that are living. If you look at it here, okay, living things have a natural gender, meaning you can actually know they're male or female because of what they are, okay. But in Arabic and also in French, anybody done French in this class? Spanish? No Spanish? No French? German? Nothing? Okay. Gujarati? Urdu? Yeah. None. No? You know Gujarati. Yeah? So, uh, in these languages, even non living things have what? A gender. Yes, I'm not going to give examples because those who don't understand the language will be confused that I'm just speaking what am I saying about. But even non living things, even though it's not alive, what does it have? A gender. Not real gender. Because you don't have a truck getting married to a car. But what do we have? That for, I would imagine that the imagination of the people of the language have just assigned a gender just for grammar purposes. So when we do more rules of grammar, we need to know which words that the Arabs have imagined to be masculine and those they have imagined to be feminine, just so we get our grammar correct. Do you understand? Okay. So basically, even yeah, right? Okay. Now, what we do here, we say, what's the, what's the rule? Ladies first. You follow the same rule. We're going to say, ladies first. What do we say? Let the ladies go through first. Let's figure out which words are feminine. What are we going to do? Let's figure out a few rules to, this, to understand which words are feminine. Wherever it's not feminine, it's going to be what? Masculine. That's the way we do it. So there's a few rules. Once we know that these words are masculine, are feminine, by default, what will the remaining words be? Masculine. Does that make sense? You following me? Yes? So we say all words are going to be, have a gender. We learn a few rules to understand which words are feminine. And apart from that, we will say by default, all the other words are going to be masculine. Yes? Okay? So first, like real life. If something is living and it's a female, it's going to be feminine. For example, mother, sister, aunt, nurse, female nurse, things like that. Yes? So anything which is living and it has, it's a female will obviously be, duh, it'll be what? Feminine. Yes, you with me? Okay, for example, Maryam, Khadija. What does mother mean? Have you said mother? What does mother mean? 
No, in Arabic, mother? Ummun. Ummun. Ummun is what? Mother. Amat, yeah? Correct? So Ummun is mother. So now all of these words are what? Feminine. Correct? Because they're living and they are feminine, so they will treat them in grammar to be feminine. Yes? Okay? The second word is this. The second rule. If a word has a round ta, what does it have? A round ta. Then this is also going to be feminine. What's a round ta called in Arabic? Ata'ul marbutatu. What's it called? Ata'ul marbutatu. Say after me. Ata'ul marbutatu. So Ata'ul marbutatu, the round ta. And the Urdu says the golden ta, the round ta. This is considered to be what? A sign that the word is what? Feminine. What does marbuta mean? Marbuta means joint. So here, if you look at ta, this is a normal ta, isn't it? This ta is what? Open. Isn't it? This end, this end, and this end, are they joined together? They're not joined together. This is the open ta. It's called the open ta, ta ul maftuha. Don't worry about that, but it'll come up later on. And this ta is called what? Ta ul marbuta. What do we do? We get the two ends. Oops, sorry. We get the two ends and we join it together. So we have what? We join the two ends together and move the dot on top. And make it the round ta. The ta whose two ends are joined together. What, what do you call this? A ta'ul marbutatu. Yes? Okay? Correct? So if a word has a ta'ul marbutatu in the end, what's it called? It's a sign that it's feminine. For example, jannatun. Jannatun means what? Garden. Heaven as well. But heavens are gardens. So that's called jannah. What does it have at the end here? You see that? A round ta. So that round ta, that ta'ul marbuta is a sign that this word is what? Masculine or feminine? Feminine. Okay? And in Arabic, a feminine word is called what? Mu annath. What's it called? Mu annath. A feminine word is called what? Mu'annath. What's it called? A feminine word? Mu'annath. Okay? And how do we know if a word is feminine? What are the two rules for feminine? It has a ta'ul marbuta to at the end or the first rule was it's a real, real life feminine. Okay? What are the two rules again? Summarize. It has a ta'ul marbuta at the end or it's a real life feminine. Okay? So nouns according to gender. How many types are they? Two. One is called feminine and one is called? What's the, what, what do you call feminine in Arabic? Mu'annath. What do you call it? Mu'annath. And how many types of Mu'annath are they? What are the rules of Mu'annath? It either is going to be naturally feminine or it's going to be ata marbuta at the end. Yes? Okay. And then what do you say before? That if it's not one of these two, then by default, what do we say? By default, it's going to be what? Everything else. Apart from feminine. If it doesn't have a rule, it will be feminine. It's not a natural female or it's not doesn't have a ta'ul marbuta at the end. Then what do we say? This is going to be masculine. And in Arabic, what do we call masculine? Mudhakkar. What do we call it? Mudhakkar. Okay? Yes? So let's summarize again. Kalima. How many types of kalima are they? Three. What are they? Isam, fa'al, harf. Plural of kalima is? Plural of isam is? Asma. Plural of fa'al is? Plural of harf is? Huruf. How many types of isam, how many types of characteristics of isams are there? Characteristics, all together. Remember the key word, the doorbell? Ding. What does it stand for? Definite, indefinite, Arab, number, gender. So you want to make sure you do the ding. So four things. The first thing we done was? D, definite and indefinite. What does definite mean? Something that sp specific. What do you call definite in Arabic? Ma'rifah. What do you call indefinite? Nakira. What's the sign of definite? Alif Lam or? Or a name. And the sign of indefinite is? Tanween. Okay? So Isam, Fa'al and Harf. Okay? Isam, Fa'al and Harf. So definite means what? Something that was called definite in Arabic? Ma'rifa. What do you call indefinite, indefinite in Arabic? Nakira. So Ma'rifa and Nakira. 
and then masculine is called what? Muzakkar and feminine is called Mu'annath. Correct? So that's the end of our lesson today. Everybody with me? Yes? Any questions? Yeah? Everybody familiar with the words? Yeah? So now how many words have we done so far? We've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've done eight words. Okay? Yes? Okay? Subhanallah, wa bihamdi, subhanakallahum, wa bihamdi, wa nashad, wa la ilaha illa anta, wa nastaghfiruka, wa natubu ilayk. Yeah? Okay?